Warren Buffett just bet big on the housing market. Should you too? Well, we're going to talk about that today. Warren Buffett just made an over $800 million investment in the housing market, investing into a few builders, showing signs of his belief that the bottom of our market is at hand. Are you losing money waiting to buy your next home? Buying the home you need can also be the smartest investment you can make today. I'm going to talk about moving up in a down market. Hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermere Real Estate. For 34 years, I've been an avid study of the real estate market, helping our clients understand intricate information and how they can profit in the real estate market. If you'll give me a couple minutes of your time today, I'm going to show you how you can do the same. It is going to be in depth, so bear with me as we move through a bunch of information. But at the end of this process, I'm going to help you make some money if you want to. Warren Buffett pro tip number one, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. We're going to help you understand the risk today and understand what you're doing so you can make some decisions. We're going to cover three topics. Our first topic is interest rate changes and impacts. Our second topic will be home prices and how they've evolved. And our third topic is why moving up could be your best bet today. Time in comparison for this information is going to be the first half of 2021, 2022, and 2023. The reason I picked the first half is generally the peak of prices and the peak of activity. So it'll really show you what's happening in that marketplace. Second half can slow down quite a bit. Activity starts to wane, particularly in the markets I serve, the Seattle area, our weather turns, people start to hibernate. So it's really not the best indication of what a market will do in any given year. Topic number one, interest rate changes and impacts. We'll compare rates over the first half of the last three years so you can see how things have evolved. Average rates per year. So you can see in 2021, our average rate was 2.97%. It went up 1.69 to an average of 4.66 in 2022. And it went up 1.78% to an average of 6.44 in 2023. Rates have certainly had their impacts creating fear for buyers of buying. They're afraid they can't afford it. They're worried that, you know, maybe prices are going to come down. We're going to talk about that as I move through this video and I'll share other resources why that may not be the case. Uh, but there's no doubt it has created fear. And if you can afford it, and it's not going to be everybody who can do this, but there are plenty of people who are sitting in the house they don't need, they don't want, and they're afraid to make a move because it's fear, let alone. They have the resources and the ability to do so. But if you have the money, I'm going to show you how profit can be made by moving up in this marketplace, or let alone if you don't even buy, how just getting into the marketplace is a smart decision, coming back to that first slide I shared with you on Warren Buffett. So Warren Buffett's pro tip number two, be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. This has often been translated in our marketplace to buy them when you hate them and sell them when you love them. So when the market's flying high, it's not intuitive to sell something. When the market's going down, it's not intuitive to buy something. Warren Buffett would suggest the exact opposite. Warren Buffett, the seventh richest man in the world, has made an 800 plus million dollar decision to buy into the housing market. That tells you that he has great faith and insight that most of us don't have on the future of our housing market. Investing into three different home builders, knowing that inventory is low and home builders are the ones that can control inventory. They're not stuck emotionally locked into a mortgage. They are in the marketplace to build houses and without competition, they're going to be the ones that profit. So you can do the same if you listen to Warren Buffett's advice and think intuitively, be greedy when others are fearful. Topic number two, home prices and how they've evolved. So we're going to take a look at a number of things. We'll compare the average east side price is over the first half of the last three years so you can understand what that looks like and then we're going to break it down into segments. So first off, prices in 2021 were an average of $548 per square foot. They rose 27% to 2022 at $695 per square foot. And at this point, the first half of this year, they were down 12% to $611 per square foot. What are the impacts of rising rates as it correlates to prices? We'll take a look at that next. In 2021, rates were 2.97. The average price per square foot of homes was 548. 
You can see ra rates came up, prices still went up to 695 in 2022. And finally, when we start getting over 6%, we see some negative impacts to pricing, we're down 12%. What are the net impacts of rates more than doubling over the last two years? Well, if you look at 2021, rates were at 2.97%. As of the first half of 2023, they're at 644 so rates rose a total of 117%. And in spite of what the experts would tell you, prices went up 11%. So if you've been watching the news, many people were talking about how our marketplace was going to fall apart when rates rose. And yes, it's had its impacts, but it is nowhere near the death spiral that many predicted. So we're going to talk about Warren Buffett's pro tip number three. The best chance to deploy capital is when things are going down. So topic number three, why moving up now could be your best bet. We're going to get into the, the details and show you some real market specifics so you can understand why moving up is a profitable move today. We're going to talk about how buyers are still in the market. They've just lowered their price with rates going up. So uh, buyers are still buying. They're just buying on the lower end. So if you have the ability and are risk tolerant to move to the upper end, I'm going to show you how that's a profitable move today. There's profit to be made by moving up in a down market. And for 34 years, that's something I've known and, and intuitively been able to see, but I'm going to articulate it today so you can understand that position. First, we're going to look at average prices during the first half of 2021, 2022, and 2023. So again, average east side prices was $1,550,000 in 2021, $1,886,000 in 2022, and $1,697,000 in 2023. So east side prices basically ranging from a million five to a million eight. And that's, you know, all different houses, all different areas. That's the averages. Next, we're going to keep the numbers as accurate as possible. To do so, we're going to compare specific style of homes. So you're not looking at ramblers, which are going to sell for more per square foot versus split entry homes, which are going to sell for less. We're going to try to look at apples and apples comparison and see how the markets really evolved in the first half of 2021, 2022, and 2023. Comparing the price per square foot and how it has changed, comparing the starter home to the move up home and show you where that profit is today. The starter home we've defined is between a million dollars and a million 749. In 2021, it rose to 2022, 18.7%. From 2022 to 2023, that starter home went down 7.2%. And in a second, I'm going to show you how things looked at with that move up home, which we defined as a million seven fifty to 2.5 million. That million seven fifty to 2.5 million move up home rose up in 2021 from 545 to 2022 to 684, a raise of 22.5%. So if you're listening to me at this point, please hear this. In a upward moving market, the upper end will move faster than the average. People are looking to upscale their lives and they're betting on real estate. However, in a downward moving market, you'll see that the upper end has dropped far more than the lower starter home has. It's down 12.9%. So the move up buyers market advantage is exactly that. And we're going to show you here. If you look at between 2021 and 2022, the starter home went up 18.7%. The move up home went up 22.5%. So that move up home was more attractive and more appreciation to be found. Raising rates caused markets to shift. And now you can see that starter home went down 7.2%. But that move up home that many people need to be in today because their life is changing that home went down 12.9% or a difference of 5.7%. So the move up home appreciates faster in a hot market, but the move up home cools faster in a slower market. The move up home now is discounted 5% down compared to the starter home. So that's where the profit is to be made. If you can stomach higher rates for a short period of time, maybe it's not a short period of time, but those who are betting on the housing market, those who are betting on interest rates are not predicting rates to be high for much longer. So if you can some stomach some pain and become greedy when others are fearful, that's when you're going to make your appreciation because those upper end homes 
as soon as rates drop down, are going to become much more desirable to a, a much larger audience, and those prices are going to climb faster than the starter home. So allowing the move up buyer to sell higher and buy lower. Everyone's dream, want to sell high, want to buy low. There is an opportunity to do that today. But the news says it's not a good time to buy a home. Yeah, the news is always going to say that. And if you watch this little video I've got linked up above, we're going to talk about how in 2022, September, Many of the market experts, including Zillow and Redfin, Wall Street Journal, Barron's, were predicting a falling market this year, and it just hasn't happened. So again, please watch that video linked up above for more questions. If you have any questions on what we had to share today, please reach out to us. I know I covered a lot, and I'll be happy to sit down with you and help you really understand exactly what's happening and where the advantages are so you can be making some smart real estate decisions. As I've said before in my other videos, if you like what we have to say, please hit the like button, hit the share button, send it out to a friend, and do hit subscribe. Well, thanks for watching.